Hello everyone, welcome back on Nestemego channel guys. I am Ramke Singh, Unity game developer, YouTuber and blogger. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about Unity VR multiplayer template. So in last part, I just done the walkthrough that how everything is working. So if you want to watch this video, you can just watch. I just walk through with my friend. And in this today video, we are going to talk about what they have used. It will be a technical knowledge. So people were asking that how people are connecting. It is the first mode. It is the first they have deployed the server. Everything we are going to talk about and if you are new on the channel please subscribe the channel if you want to support me just do the join or you can just become the patreon and thanks to who grab the my samples also become the patreon it really helped me i create much more tutorials if you want to check out me so please check out me on my linkedin profile so let's start the today video so here we are in the unity i have opened this sample we are going to talk about everything what we use but before on the unity project I am going to share with you a uh, outline so that you know that what we are going to cover and what we will cover in the next video everything we are going to outline here I have created something for you this will help you to understand so this is the unity VR multiplayer template they have used so we are going to talk about one by one in terms of if we talk about in XR what they have used in XR basically we are using a unity XR it is not a meta XR so in unity XR what it comes it comes with the interaction toolkit and basically they have used the latest version 3.0 and they have used the xr hands means if you are not using the your controller and if your device like meta quest 3 meta quest pro supporting the hand tracking so they are also supporting the xr hand without the controller you can work and they have also used the open xr basically xr is cross platform so use the open xr and by default xr plugin is must if you are using the unity xr so people are asking much more tutorial xr interaction there is no any tutorial you want so let me know in the comment box i will do the tutorials as soon as possible because in xr interaction toolkit there are so many things is new and older thing have been deprecated so it's a uh, compulsory to learn so i'm trying to learn and then soon i will provide the tutorial so for the xr you understand what they have been used so basically i will explain so you have to not worry about this thing and let's come to the multiplayer sdk in multiplayer sdk they have used the unity netcode nowadays means from few month unity is doing really great job they are launching unity 6 and they have just updated unity netcode they have created their own sdk so if you are going to learn so i love the fusion but cost why it is very expensive but if you are going to use unity netcode with the unity netcode they are just being you ugc unity gaming service so there are so many great features is available so if you are learning so you should learn unity Net netcode as well as you should learn that how relay work how authentication work how you can deploy the application so for the multiplayer they have used the unity netcode and with the, this they are using the unity gaming service in unity gaming service you can search there are so many stuff is coming with it like you can deploy your game you can kill it is a unity cloud first thing i want to mention that they are using the authentication i will explain everything how they have been used in unity so authentication basically it help us to identify and it help us to just make your application secure by default they provide the this you can do the no auth means it will not ask you id password but it will be just authenticate your device id or something and if you want to integrate gmail or facebook so you can also integrate with authentication so it is a one package and they are using the relay really what is the relay so you will see that they have used the host and client model host and client model basically what it works that if you are uh, if you are two friends so if you are starting your game so you are the host and if you are joining your your friend is joining so you are the client so anyone from you can create the host uh, means host the game and then anyone can join so it is a great but it is a, a little slow so if you want to follow this method and if you want to speed up so at that time you have to use delay basically if there is two player and anyone is hosting so basically they just connected to the server and from that server your player is getting connected and it is much more faster so basically this is the relay so the relay is also a package for the ugc using in this so basically in this what it works like if someone have created room so someone can join but i will also providing the lobby they have used the lobby lobby is also part of the ugc so whenever player will be host the game like let's suppose p1 is hosting the game it will show in the lobby to other player like third person if you want to join for the third person it will show in the lobby 
so you can say session or lobby so at that time another player can join that application and there is also limitation so it can show in lobby how much maximum player can go so it, let's suppose there is a p3 so p3 will see in the lobby that uh, that one lobby is going on where two player is playing so he, he can or she can join the lobby okay so they are also using for the voice chat they are using the vivox so photon voice is also very famous but vivox nowadays very famous so you have to also learn that how it works if you want to play on the multiplayer mode in one device so they have launched the multiplay mode it is also a package you can install it and you can just play and it is like the player sync so basically earlier there was a player sync uh, plugin that was helping us at a one time you have to use any one like at a time at a one time you can use multiplayer play or if you are very familiar with the player sync so you can use the pl player sync okay great so this is the thing they have used in application so let me go in unity and let me walk through that what they have been using here in the quick way so that i think you have brief idea that what is happening what is going on in here what are the script they have used is the unity xr so here you can see basically you are already familiar with this a few thing is new so in next video i will share with you that how updated unity xr interaction toolkit works so i want to i don't want to take your much more time but if you are xr developer so you are aware about xr origin so basically it is our player so in player basically from unity xr interaction 2.5 4 uh, it is structurally uh, different like here you get locomotion so everything you get is a game object and every component is there local player and whenever it is joined on multiplayer so what happening on the multiplayer it is just searching this and after searching it it is just getting connected with the local player okay hope you are understanding that this is this will be always in device uh, a very important concept that in one uh, scene there should be only one xr rig so that will be for your local player so what they do they just keep this uh, xr rig here in the scene and whenever they instantiate the multiplayer so basically it is providing the data to local multiplayer okay and that player is getting sync on the network i'm clear with this and there are few updates so we will talk about in next network manager vr multiplayer template so here lots of thing around the multiplayer so i told you that network we are using the unity netcode for game object so here you can see that basically whenever you want to create the multiplayer so you have to add this component network manager vr so basically they have customized the name you can use the network manager so there is no any issue if you are starting with it but if you want to use from this template so you can use basically they have customized it. and here this is our player so this is the player is getting instantiated and here is a network transform basically unity netcode use the network transform so in bottom here you will see there is a another component if you are creating from starting so you have to create is a unity transport and relay unity transport sometime what happens run time you check that who is hosting who is joining on the basis of that you choose uh, from this currently it is unity transport so there is no any issue you, in the code you will see that how they are accessing this what i'm thinking is that here we are providing our player reference and what are we are creating at a run time so here is a prefab that is a network prefab list and nothing we have to change here this is for the netcode and if we are coming like xri network game manager so whatever we talk about like lobby or authentication so here is getting happening so as i told you i will come to the player so don't worry about it so whenever we want to create any network object so at that time we have to add if you are following my tutorial from the fusion 2 so fusion 2 a network object is you can say almost 50% common concept is also same and some component is also same like network object we are using in the fusion also so here they are also using network object i write network manager so this thing is related to lobby to join the lobby okay great so here you can see manage the high level connection for the network game session 
so you can also read it is very helpful they have also checked that authentication thing in the away this thing is helping us to join the lobby and in if you have worked on the pontu so there was some room list so in network object basically they are showing the session list and in session if you are going to join so if you, it is getting joined or if it is get, getting uh, disconnected all the stuff is getting managed here you can see disconnect async and lobby manager you can see they have used directly to just join the lobby so you can see quick join lobby okay if there is any uh, there is the method you can see quick join lobby quick join function will try to find any lobbies by quick join async if there will be any lobby so sometimes what it does it create the lobby you can also share the room code so everything is basic concept you can explore the code you will understand that how it is the authentication manager like i told you that authentication is getting used so for this they have used this script that is the authentication manager so basically whenever our application is getting a start so it get authenticated in starting so after authentication it start working here you can see if it is not authorized so at that time signing anonymously basically it does not require email id password so here is the vwox voice chat so basically this is the important thing and let come to the player so here we have the player so let's come to the player so for the player here we have the player so just open this player and here you will see what's happening that they have the player like here you can see we are also see the player so what happening that whatever you will choose it will be customized when if, when he will join so it will be turned off like whatever it is getting used so every component for the mesh it will be turned off and what it will come so it will come like it will be get enabled so here they have used the network object like whatever you want to sync xri network player so basically these are the thing for just uh, mm -hmm sync on the network so they have used left right hand so these are the thing are of our visuals so basically it is getting transferred so this thing is managing like how it will be color how it will be this color so everything is getting managed like uh, in multiplayer on the metaverse application we use the customize the colors or clouds wardrobe items so this kind of script is managing the how it will be look or how it will be xr avatar ik so they have also used the ik and here they have used the hands as well as ha head so for this they have created the ik if you are going to create the full body author so at that time you have to customize so in the future maybe we work on it that how it works final ik or unity xr so we will check at that time which is perfect for or which is much more people are asking okay and this is for sir hand pose replicator so basically they are using uh, like there will be animation some animation on the hand so at that time they are using this thing and here is the head like for oculus so whatever we want to sync on the network so in the in the fusion we use network transform here we use client network transform we can use network transform also you will, you will search the network transform you will get here network transform what does is just it hosts to client which is from host to client whenever you are going to use network client network transform so but it basically it works two way like it will sync from client to host or host to client so basically it is the custom script uh, basically they have made to give the authority to the client and this is for canvas for player this is the left so everything whatever you want to sync uh, we are using the client network transform so it is a great in the net code in the fusion they have not provide global keyboard so they are using the global keyboard from updated xr interaction toolkit so it is also really great in the my gameplay we'll see there are lots of object we are using to just move from one place to another place so this is the we are going going to use on the network object whenever we are going to use so everything is on this hierarchy anti gravity zone we can use this script network object destroyer cooler so you can explore but important thing is like here is a battery all this thing is come with the runtime basically i am explaining that how network grab object is getting working so basically this is the basic setup like how it will work here they have used the network object like it will be there and client network transform so it is also getting used and here network phys physics interactable is also getting used because at the same time if two player is getting used to this so at that time it will, it will help us to just bring the ownership so network physics interactable is helping us 
to change the ownership by default if you are going to touch so it will be your ownership but someone will touch before you so it will transfer the ownership and here is the ui thing like whatever we are creating the room so whenever you will see here so everything is looking here you have to give the name and player color and then your lobby will be so here so you can join any lobby or you can just create your own so that's it for today tutorial and hope you enjoy hope you learn something just for climbing or graving anything so basic these are the basic thing you have to just explore that how they are doing but hope you understand hope you enjoy this tutorial so thanks for watching have a good day and please like the video your like really inspire me as well as youtube also like your like so thanks for watching see you in next video don't forget to like subscribe, and share please support me on my patreon page or join or check out me on my linkedin profile so bye bye take care see you in next video